Hello, this is Meowspad with Obonsville Gaming, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Ultima Online working so that you can play on private servers. Uh, you may be thinking, why would I want to play on private servers when I can just play on the live servers? Well, the answer to that question is that the private servers are usually higher in quality because the live servers right now have released so many expansions that they've kind of lost the entire point of the game. UO was a very special game in the sense that, you know, there were pretty much no rules as to what you could do. And there was a lot of risk in the game that just made it more exciting, really. Even go something as simple as going mining became exciting because at any minute you knew that somebody could just come into the mine and PK you and take all your stuff. So you had to be careful and... It was just exciting. It's hard to describe unless you actually experienced it. And, you know, maybe you can experience it as a result of private servers. Uh, so, to play private servers, you're going to want to get the UO 14-day trial client. Even though it's a trial, it'll work just fine for playing on private servers. It is the full UO client. So, it's the 7.0.24.0 client. What this installer is going to do, it's going to give you the bare bones files to go in and patch the game. So we're going to go ahead and double click on the installer. It'll go through some mumbo jumbo here. Go ahead and hit next. Yeah, yeah, I read it. Now, the directory that it goes to by default, I don't like that one. I always like to change it. So I do not want to install it to drive E, I want to dr uh, install it to drive F. Just install it to whichever drive you usually install your programs to. And change this games to program files, and then in parentheses, uh, x86, like this. I will put this in the description if you can't read it clearly in the video. If you install it to this directory, the third-party tools that you'll want to install will find the game a lot more easily. So the installation didn't take too long. I don't like to create a desktop shortcut, but your work isn't quite done yet. You gotta go to the directory where you installed UO and run the uo.exe file to patch the game. So I'm gonna do that now. And as you can see, it's already creating some files just from running that uo.exe file. Now, you're going to be looking at this screen for quite some time because it does take quite a while to patch the game. I have about 150 megs, and it still takes me quite a long time, about close to half an hour, I'd say. Although it seems to be going pretty fast right now, but it might slow down a little later. In the meantime, what you might want to do is go to a couple of sites. I've got them up here right now. One is uogateway.com, and the other is joinuo.com. And what these sites do, they give you some statistics about some private servers that are up. The amount they have online, a description, and the name of the server, and a link to their website. Just click on the name of the server to go to their website. Through this you can find private servers you might be interested in playing on, and on their website you'll want to look for the IP and port of the server, because you'll plug that into the third party tool that we're going to install a little bit later. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to the part where I finish my patching. All right, two tall glasses of lemonade later, it's done patching finally. So I'm going to hit cancel, not play, but cancel. And I'm going to go back to the directory where I installed UO. we got to make a couple of changes to the client.exe file. Once you find your client.exe file in the directory, go ahead and right click on it and hit properties. Go to the Compatibility tab, 
Now you'll want to check a couple of things in here. For some reason it always already has it checked for me. Check run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2. And check run this program as an administrator. Go ahead and hit OK when all that's done. You might have to hit, you might want to hit apply first if it's not grayed out. It was grayed out for me because I didn't have to change any settings. So I'm now going to install UO Steam. I will link this in the description. It's the top recommended UO assistant right now. It allows you to do a lot of things you can't do in the basic client, like set some special kinds of hotkeys and set up macros and open monster corpses that are near you within a certain radius. And it even has an auto looter if the server you're playing on allows it. So all those things come in handy. Okay, the installation is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the one thing, make sure your directory is correct. You'll want to install it to Program Files x86, just like you did with the UO client itself. Fairly quick installation. I usually uncheck Read Instructions File. It's nothing really important in there. So on the UO Steam shortcut that it creates on your desktop, right-click it and hit on Properties, Compatibility, and check Run this program as an administrator. Once again, it's already done, so I'm just going to hit OK. Double-click on UO Steam. You will launch the game by double-clicking on UO Steam when you're playing on UO private servers. If you launch it with the start menu shortcut to Ultima Online, then it will go to the live servers and you don't want to play on there. So, so one server that I like to play on is UO Forever. This is the IP and port for UO Forever, login.uoforever.com, and the port 2599. Any server you want to play on should have the IP and port on the website, so you would just plug it in under where it says shard on your UO Steam launcher and you'll be able to play on there. Do check and make sure that the Ultima Online directory is down here. If not, you might have to click on the three little dots here and find it manually. But if you installed it to Program Files x86, it should find it automatically. Go ahead and hit start. Most UO private servers will have a feature where you can automatically create accounts. You'll just type in a username and password, whatever you like, and it'll automatically make the account for you. So you don't have to worry about going to the website and signing up for an account or anything. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and type in an account username and password that I haven't created yet. And it was created automatically, no problems there. You'll want to hit on the server up here. Some, some servers will have two options. Usually you'll want to pick the top one. You can create a character. And now I am playing Ultima Online on a private server. So that concludes this tutorial. Check the link, or check the description for all the links that you'll need. I hope this tutorial helped you out. Throw the video a like if you liked it. If you'd like, uh, go ahead and subscribe, and you can visit our website at obonsville.com for more content like this. Have a wonderful day.